I'm Rebecca for Waffle TV and I'm here today with Four Screws Loose. How are you? Hey, very good. Oh, amazing. Yeah, they've literally just a second come off stage. How was it today? Oh, it was wicked today. It was, uh, it was sold out for the first time today. Uh, so it was 180 people in. It was just amazing. They were like well up for it, just making loads of noise. So yeah, it was a brilliant atmosphere. And it's like a bit in the show where we get everyone to like, stand up and, and do this with their arms. It was like a massive rave in a tent. It was amazing. I particularly enjoyed it today. It's very sweaty. <laughs> yeah, just get very, very sweaty. So it's why we all just look at it. <laughs> so for anyone that doesn't know or hasn't heard of you, which if you haven't, where have you been? Um, tell us a little bit about the show. We're a sketch comedy group where we do lots of music, lots of singing, a bit of dancing, which is yeah, quite, we're all quite tall, so it's gangly dancing, which is great. Um, kind of found the like, the, when we were doing live circuits, we were like, music really gets through to people in an immediate sense, and so we've been involving more and more music in the show, whether it be live or recorded or mashups or anything. And so uh, this year's show is just the biggest kind of musical fest yet, and there's lots of numbers and dancing and just all sorts, and people seem to really appreciate it. A real kind of like high energy, fun, lots of this one, the audience coming out on like a big kind of comedy high. Buzzing. Uh, yeah. There's no political satire in our show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're not a middle classy kind of, oh, let's talk about David Cameron and sketch group. We don't, we don't do that. We'd rather wear corsets. Yeah. We tend to be and wigs. Back. And wigs. Yeah, lots of wigs. We've never done an interview that's talking about wigs. No, that's it. We've got it, we've got it in. We've got, it in. We'll we've got more weeks than ever this year. Mildly obsessed. <laughs> God. So this isn't your first time at the Edinburgh Fringe. You've been here twice before. Yes. But this right. is the first time where you're not part of the free fringe. How is that different? To Because when it's free, you imagine that it's a lot easier to get people in. But obviously now you're paying, people have to pay for tickets. So how are you finding that? The main difference is in the free fringe, you get them in and they're like, oh, it's going to be rubbish, but we'll see what happens. And then they're pleasantly surprised. And they were like, oh my God, that's great. But that now we're in a pay band, you're like, right. Yeah. Impress me. Pounds. Come on. <laughs> Come on, I'm in assembly. <laughs> yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. And then we impress them still. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've, we've been reading four star, five star reviews. Everyone's raving about you. Everyone's so excited about you. How is that? I mean, there's a lot of shows that come here and completely tank and don't get any buzz and it happens to the majority of people. There's only a small handful that do really well. How does it feel to be in that little group of people that's doing That's brilliant? amazing. Yeah, it's really exciting. Although obviously it's, it's a bit weird because we don't kind of hear the buzz because people kind of talk, talk about it. So you kind of hear secondhand or people are talking about you but obviously no one says it to us. So. But yeah, it's well exciting, especially um, like, like Rich was saying, it's kind of easier for there to be a buzz. If there's a good show on the free fringe, then people talk yeah. about it more readily so to be able to kind of replicate that in a paid venue is just like we're really chuffed it's amazing yeah and it's hard at 320 like no one's drunk so it's hard to like <laughs> so I think we're doing quite well with that so how are you finding this year compared to other years because obviously it's a slightly different show how are you finding it compared to like the very first time you're here I think we feel we've got like a producer and director and you know things like that it's now it's more official yeah it feels like we, we've got help which is nice you know we used to just do everything ourselves, pay for everything, and do all our, everything ourselves. And then when it was having a bit of a hard time, there was only us to turn to, and you know. Whereas now you can go, is that any good? And somebody will tell you it's rubbish, which is nice to know. Yeah. I think we we feel that I mean, without a doubt, this show is our best as well. Like, um, and definitely like the audience feedback and stuff. People have been really kind of positive about about the show, um, and so I. I no, I, I feel more confident doing it than, even more so than the last two years because you know we're just having loads of fun doing it and I'm like, really it's proud. Really of, a job, is it? Yeah, yeah wow. Well, yeah. uh, it's still hard work. Tell you what, I'm a massive stress head. I'm starting to forget the fun in it. I've got to keep remembering that. It's like everything has to be right. Oh my God, where the hell is my mic? The last two days we had like a really fun shows, didn't we? The last couple yeah. of days we had like a show a couple of days ago and it was quite a hard one. It was middle of the week, middle it's of the run. The so. audience. Is well, yeah, so do the reaction, same show, the audience much, might not react so. half yeah. as well as they do for something. We're doing exactly the same, but the audience just don't laugh. Whereas yesterday, we just had a crazy audience. It wasn't that big, but they were just crazy, like amazing. And they were making us laugh because of what they were doing. Yeah, and if the audience see that we're getting a bit stressy, then they yeah. pick up on that, and so it doesn't really come across as well. So if they see that we're having fun, then they have a lot more fun as well. So how did 
did Force Cruisers come to be? How did it all start? Where did you begin? So it started us with us Aww. three. I'll be on your team. We just kind of inherited him <laughs> like a lost orphan. <laughs> yeah, these guys uh, studied together, so they met uh, at uni um, and decided, yeah, they wanted to, to maybe go into comedy. Um, and but they were, you know, kind of a bit disorganised, a bit of a rabble, and then like huh? came along and was like, come on, then, let's do this. Uh, yeah, should should we act out how we met? We like yeah. to think we auditioned Joseph. <laughs> yeah. He didn't tell me this at the time. But, but really, he came along and organised everything. Let's act out how we met. Hey Conan. Hey, hey Tom. Hey Rich. We should be in a comedy group. Oh, that sounds like a great oh, idea. Fantastic. Oh. Just the three of us. Oh, no, no, I think there should be a fourth one. Oh, okay. Well, we Hi guys, have to... I'm Joe. Go Hi. away, Joe. <laughs> Why? Let's do some comedy together. You look like you're very disorganised. Whoop ha! Write some sketches. Yeah! Literally, how it happened. <laughs> That's what happened. So I, can tell, I like you the whoop. I can tell by what That's we're drinking. It's like booze, a nice that, little like... Pepsi, chilling out after the show. We're like, it's the job. <laughs> we appreciate Mother. Yeah, Mother Head. Mother, mother, mother Screw. Mother, mother Goose. Oh, yeah, because he laughs like a goose. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So, when did you realise you were funny? There must be a time where you sit and you practice and you rehearse and you come up with sketches and you go, this isn't funny. When, when, <laughs> when came the time that you went, wait, this is funny, people will appreciate it. We were always messing around at, um, at school, weren't we, at uni. Like, if like, we kind of try and, anything that we were doing, we would just try and mess it up, yeah. really, and kind of try and, try, and, try and make it funnier for everyone. Didn't we? So that's kind of how we wanted to get into it. And I don't know I about kind of, you. Well, I thought I wanted to be an actor, like a proper serious, like, and then I kept getting cast in like comedy roles and actually started I like, realised that they're much more fun like uh, than, than normal so I was like yeah let's do this instead and then we got involved when we first started it we were kind of like uh, just doing it as a bit of fun you know to kind of fill the time um, and then as it started taking off we were like actually you know this would be amazing to do just this as our career um, and yeah it's brilliant it's, uh, I don't like to think of myself as a funny person I just, I just know that audiences laugh at what we do and we love that you got a funny face yeah people are like oh my god your face is so funny oh thanks so is yours <laughs> what do you say to that <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> so your show is on at the Bosco Tent every day at 3.20 at the Assembly George Square until the 27th. I'm good at memorising it. <laughs> Just tell us finally, for Waffle TV viewers, why should they come see your show? They shouldn't. That was it. That was it. That was it. Uh, because uh, we've got a bit of everything in this show. So if you're stuck, like, because there's so many shows to see at the Fringe, it's like, oh, what do I want? Stand up or sketch or whatever. Like, we've got like everything. It's like a big party in a big tent, and everyone who's seen our show loves it. And if you don't believe us, because we're in the show, check out our Twitter and Facebook. So goes mental recommendations after every performance. So yeah, check us out at Four Screws Loose, and you can see it. Mm. We've had like three generations in. So we've had yeah. a girl who's come with her mum and her gran and all three of them have found something right, that they've things. enjoyed out of it so so yeah it's kind of cross-generational humor as well isn't it it it's sure awesome. is Amazing. What a boy. thank you very much guys i've been rebecca for waffle tv stay tuned for more videos and interviews